In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an AI generated asset using Sloyd and Echo 3D. Once you create your Sloyd account, you're going to log in and create a new project. Here we're looking for a hammer asset so we can create a prop for a video game. So they don't have a ton of selection, but that's okay. We're going to work with this and here you have some options to modify all the details of your 3D asset. So here we can work with the height, we'll make it a little bit longer and well, actually maybe a little bit shorter. Let's make it thick and you can go ahead and mess around with it any way that makes sense. Next, you're going to go and export your project. Now that you have your asset exported, you're going to go back to the Echo 3D console and you're gonna click on this empty content card and we're going to upload it. There's our battle hammer. And you'll get this warning because once you export the object, it does not have a material, but you can proceed. We brought it into Echo 3D so we can attach a material to it and kind of finish it off. And yes, of course, you can do this in Blender, um, but having all the tools in one central place is really helpful. So as you can see, there is no material on it, but no worries. If you click on it and then scroll down to Model Editor, you'll see that there's a panel on the right with a palette. So if you click on Factor, this is where you can change the default color. And let's go with something a little mystical, maybe like a blue tone. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that works. And then so we're gonna go back to this icon and we're going to apply to entry. This will just take a couple of seconds and it'll notify you when it's complete. Perfect. If we wanted to check out what it would look like in AR, we can go ahead and do that by clicking on the QR code for the content card and then it's going to load into our phone's browser. And once it does that, we're going to click see in AR and then follow the instructions on the screen, move it around until it's able to track the space around you and then you're going to be able to see your 3D asset in AR.